Hello, and welcome to Compass Housing Alliance's 100th Birthday Bash. My name is Carol Mizuguchi, and I am the Director of Emergency Services here at Compass. I am so glad you could join us for this event, honoring all of the work that Compass has done over the past 100 years, and looking toward all that Compass might be able to achieve in the future. Compass celebrated our 100th anniversary last November, but we could not be together with you then, the same as we cannot be with you now. While we hope you find this program celebratory and inspiring, we must first acknowledge all of the lives that have been disrupted or lost over the past year due to the COVID-19 pandemic and the disproportionate effect it has had on Black, Indigenous, and people of color communities. In fact, this is not the first pandemic that Compass has experienced. Compass was actually founded on the heels of the Spanish flu pandemic. It's truly remarkable that we find ourselves yet again serving others during a global health crisis. We want to share our immense gratitude to the bravery and dedication of our frontline staff who have continued to safely advance our mission day in and day out, even during this crisis. Additionally, we know that we build homes and provide enhanced shelter programs on land that is not ours. We would like to acknowledge that Compass locations are on the unceded territory of the Coast Salish tribes. And here in Seattle specifically, we are on the land of the Duwamish people. Information about Real Rent Duwamish and the Stand with Duwamish letter writing campaign for federal recognition were included in your event invites and can also be found on our website. Please take some time to participate in these activities if you are able. Throughout today's program, you will hear a variety of stories from across Compass, including a keynote from everyone's favorite locally based travel guide, Rick Steves. Throughout the program, if you feel compelled to donate, check out the information below or visit our website. And we are excited to announce that we have a matching fund available so you can amplify your impact. And now, without further ado, it's time for something near and dear to my heart, the story of our emergency services programs and how they paint the full picture of Compass's past. Compass Housing Alliance exists today because of the vision of one Swedish immigrant over 100 years ago. When Pastor Otto Karlstrom and his wife Alva first arrived in Seattle, they immediately saw the need to provide a welcoming space for fellow immigrants who were new to the area and didn't have housing between jobs. In 1920, he founded what was originally called the Lutheran Sailors and Loggers Mission here in Pioneer Square. Our name has changed over the years, but our purpose, providing a welcoming space for those in need, has remained the same. Today, we are Compass Housing Alliance, one of the largest providers of supportive, affordable housing and emergency services in King County. The mission originally functioned as a rest stop a place for men to find community, attend church, write letters home, and grab a meal. But as the Great Depression hit and times grew desperate, providers were faced with more people seeking food, jobs, clothing, and a place to sleep. In response, Compass looked to expand by adding shelter beds, and in 1941, were able to do so with the purchase of this building, now known as the Compass Center, for $15,000. Once Compass found a permanent home, we continued to grow. In 1952, a full hygiene center was opened in the basement. And this is when Compass Center began to resemble what it looks like today. The hygiene center provides showers, 
restroom services, and laundry services to individuals. And giving them that opportunity, because we open at seven o'clock, to come in here and take a shower, leave their clothes with us, wash it, and come and pick it up at four o'clock when they get off of work is vital. On the far east corner of the building, there's the client service office, the CSO, that provides mail services, banking services to individuals. This is their way of communicating with their appointments. This is their way of communicating with their family. This is the way of getting their banking statements. And without a mailing address, you're not allowed to vote. You're not allowed to get your ID. You're not allowed to get your passport. You're not allowed to do a lot of things that are required to have an address. There are no other programs like the CSO that exists in the entire United States. Directly in the center of the building, there's a day center that provides a safe and welcoming environment for people to come in and just sit down and get away from the weather. We also have computers and uh, charging stations for individuals who are homeless. They can come in, file for unemployment, check emails, fill out job applications, submit resumes. We offer housing navigators for individuals who are looking for a place, a spiritual services. We have a chapel, mental health services. We also have a nurse. Compass Center now acts as a truly unique one-stop service hub for folks who are experiencing homelessness or housing instability. But that's not all the building contains. As of spring 2021, floors two through five house our newly renovated Pioneer Square Men's Program and our Autos Place Enhanced Shelter Program. The difference between enhanced shelter and a, and a regular shelter, a regular shelter, they operate on hours. We don't have set hours. You have 24 hour access to your bed. You have 24 hours access to your program. We don't have mats on the floor, we have beds. We have lockers. If we have a, a guest that's in need, they can go to any of our counselors, any of our housing case managers. But our wins aren't just housing. Just being their support, getting the mental health, the substance abuse treatment, the documents they need. That's what makes us different. You're homeless, but when you're here, you're not. Our other enhanced shelter programs have also been renovated with changes that ensure all beds are safely distanced to maintain health, privacy, and comfort for guests. We opened our Compass at First Presbyterian Shelter in partnership with the city in 2018 as the first 24-hour enhanced shelter in the city. We saw the success of this program almost immediately, and now we have transformed all three of our shelters into 24-hour programs. We believe this is truly the only way to effectively provide shelter and services to folks who are experiencing homelessness. Everyone deserves a home. Compass first provided transitional housing in the 80s, but it was not until our merging with Latch, the Lutheran Alliance to Create Housing, that we embraced this next challenge of permanent, affordable housing. Latch was created in 1990 and had about five apartment buildings before our merger was formalized in 2009. Today, Compass operates 16 permanent, affordable housing properties with more to come. Bringing Otto Carlstrom's work full circle, Compass became affiliated with LCSNW, Lutheran Community Services Northwest, in January 2021. LCSNW was originally called the Compass Mission Tacoma, the second mission opened by Otto Carlstrom in the Pacific Northwest. A hundred years after their foundings, these two organizations have joined forces and will have an even bigger impact together in the future. The sailor turned pastor knew the importance of a compass. He wrote in one of his journals, when the darkness was so dark and the fog so dense that nothing could be seen that would enable one to hold the vessel on course, one needs only a compass to help point the way. What a 
rich history to be a part of. When Otto started this, it is doubtful he knew what ripple effects there would be. But he knew that the services provided by Compass would help people in meaningful ways. We can only imagine the total impact we've had over the years, as many people who use our services go on to lift up their families and their extended communities. We are proud to carry on this legacy and continue to make positive waves 100 years later. You might know our next speaker from his show or simply because he's a local legend. Rick Steeds is going to chat with us about his belief of the importance and power of affordable housing. Hey everyone, I'm Rick Steves. Thank you for joining us in this celebration of Compass Housing Alliance. I'm honored to support them and the work they do for our friends and neighbors experiencing homelessness and housing instability. When it comes to making sure that everyone's got an affordable roof over their heads, we're all on the same team. I first got involved with Compass and affordable housing through Latch. Latch bought and built homes and townhomes and apartments to create affordable housing in our communities. And I was an enthusiastic supporter of the work they were doing. And I'm proud to support the work that Compass does now as a result of that merger over 10 years ago. I firmly believe that everyone deserves a home, not just a place to sleep each night but a place that one can truly call home, a place that gives a neighbor dignity and a foundation upon which to be a contributing member of our community. I've traveled all across our world, and I know the importance of having a home. It's universal, not just a house, but a place where you feel stable and safe, where you have the ability to focus on your goals and your dreams, a place where you're surrounded by a supportive community. We know how important these basic needs are to people, and that's why Compass focuses their programs around supporting stability, growth, and community. And that's why, for about 20 years now, I've been a big supporter of this work. I've traveled enough to know that there's enough wealth in our community to rid our towns of homelessness. And I've seen communities where wealthy people invest not in their neighbors, but in the security that's necessary because there's a vast gap between the privileged and the poor. They learn that barricading your family behind designer fortifications is no answer. A community where that's necessary, it's just not a nice place to raise your kids. Thoughtful people in distant lands have learned that even if you're motivated only by greed, if you know what's good for you, you don't want to be filthy rich in a desperately poor society. You help your neighbor. It's the right thing to do. This past year has forced us to reckon with how we've failed on our obligation as a community to take care of our unhoused neighbors. And how, if times were tough before the COVID-19 pandemic, many more are vulnerable to homelessness now. We know that at its core, homelessness is an affordability issue. Rents have significantly increased in the last 20 years, and the rise in homelessness has increased at about the same pace. We know now that even before the pandemic and before its economic fallout, more than 12,000 people in King County alone were experiencing homelessness. It's my prayer that we'll come out of this COVID pandemic a more thoughtful society, more aware of the fragility of our environment, of the importance of good governance, of the reality that there's a lot of poverty in the midst of all of our affluence and that we would all be wise to take care of those who are struggling in our society. While COVID has exposed many issues that were just below the surface, it's also showed us that if we work together, we can handle these problems and have a community that looks out for one another, not just in the worst of times, but always. When advocating for affordable housing in our community, in other words, when we support Compass, when that becomes a regular practice, our communities will be healthier, more equitable, more safe, and there'll be places where we can all thrive. I'm a traveler, it's what I do, but no matter where I go or how long I'm gone, I always come home. I'm so rooted right here. In fact, my old junior high school is its just out my window. It's a blessing to have a place that you can call home. And I believe everybody deserves such a place. Permanent, affordable housing for everyone in our community is the mark of a community that cares. 
of people who embrace the golden rule, who actually walk the talk. With your support and with your advocacy, this is realistic. We can do this. You can work for affordable housing because you love your neighbor. Or you can do it because you want a safer and more stable neighborhood. Or you can do it for both reasons. Compass is love. And Compass is a practical investment. And it offers each of us a way to make a difference. In that respect, it's doing our work. Compass is not a charity. It's a service. It's working for all of us. With their 24-hour enhanced shelters, with their emergency services and permanent supportive housing programs, Compass directly impacts the lives of thousands of our neighbors every year. And at each Compass program, the goal is always to provide stable housing and a place that people can truly call home. Please join us in making Compass strong with your financial support today. Thank you. Next up, Let's take a look at what Compass does best. I've been in the U.S. Um, since I was six. I don't remember anything about being in Cambodia or Thailand. Um, we were escaping genocide. It was the Khmer Rouge genocide. Um, my mom, I guess, pregnant with me was making her way to the refugee camps. And she was attacked. Um, she had her head split open. It never healed correctly, and she never was the same person, but um, now I know that a lot of it was just damage from what was done to her. I wouldn't say she was a bad parent. You know, she, like, she just, there was nothing she could really do to, uh, really emotionally attach herself, I guess. So, um, I grew up with her as my, like, emotional model. I first met Sofat when she was one of our residents that was in the initial um, move-in when the building opened. When I met her, she had no idea there were so many resources available. She didn't know how to access them. I really didn't understand how the U.S society culture worked. Um, I didn't understand how people found jobs. I didn't really understand what I was doing in school. I was put into a psychiatric ward for about two weeks. Uh, when I was a teenager, late teens, um, I don't remember when, but, but that became a pattern where I'd have a job, I'd lose it because I'd end up in the psychiatric ward. Now, as I'm older and have all this experience, I know that I was going through fugue states. Um, I was uh, clinically diagnosed as type 1 bipolar, and apparently I have PTSD. My mom passed away in 2011, so at the same time I lost both my, her apartment and my apartment, um, lost both my jobs. <laughs> she did manage to find an employment, but for two years, working full time, often 70 hours a week, she couldn't afford the housing. That was when I just got into this crazy cycle of the hospitals, um, living on a couch or under the stairs and in the car. I didn't know where to go. I didn't know what to do. God, that entire time frame was... I worked with her um, we applied for rental assistance. I provided those supports. We were able to get her stabilized. We um, then worked on a budget plan, a payment agreement, um, all those things to help her keep her housing and get back up on her feet and manage her finances. Having access to affordable housing and supports, it's not just for people experiencing homelessness, it's the elderly, it's the people with disabilities, um, and fixed incomes. I lived in the condominium for 20 years. The dues are so high now that I really can't afford to stay there. Here at Compass Brocky, it's a community of people that need one another and found one another. And I'm just glad I found them. It feels like I'm home, kind of. 
when I came here, like when I first got the keys, I couldn't believe like I think I just burst out crying. <laughs> I didn't even open up the lights because I was scared that you know it might disappear. Like I was nuts. Um, it was nuts. <laughs> I was able to put my stuff up, which I've never had the chance to do. Stepping into this building, like sometimes I just want to like sit there and cry. Because <laughs> it's, it's a really um, nice feeling. It makes me feel like I, sh I, should, I can go on. Because um, I now have a place to come back to. I actually have a home. So... Yeah, I'm still giddy from that. <laughs> I just watched her blossom and, and it's just been so amazing to see her grow and, and, and be happy in life. People don't choose to experience these things. They don't choose to live like this and they deserve to have their basic needs met and that includes housing stability. I feel human for the first time, you know? in my life, like, I'm a person <laughs> and I have some value. So yeah, it gave me a sense of purpose. These stories are the norm, not the exception. Every day we see the impact that affordable housing and emergency services have in our neighbors' lives. We are committed to continuing to expand our impact in the communities we serve. To share their vision for the future, I'd like to introduce our leaders, Mary and David. I'm Mary Steele, the Executive Director of Compass Housing Alliance. And I'm David Dewey, President and CEO of Lutheran Community Services Northwest. And Mary and I are coming to you today from one of, the, one of the community rooms at the Compass on Dexter, which is an affordable housing unit uh, facility here in Seattle. And Mary, I'm so impressed with these rooms, how you make, you, the design has made them feel more like a home for our residents. Well, you know, David, home is really what Compass is all about. In our 700 affordable units that we have that allow people to live in Seattle who otherwise wouldn't be able to live here, and in our enhanced shelters where we serve men and women who are coming right out of homelessness. I'm very honored to be able to lead Compass as we join together with Lutheran Community Services Northwest. Our two organizations have been working to serve the needs of the community for 100 years. And now we get to um, bring together these legacies and also look to the future together. Homelessness really is not a single story. If there's not one thing that takes people into homelessness. There's not one thing that brings people out of homelessness. So at Compass, we meet people where they're at, and we try to take them where they want to go. And for most people, that involves housing. You've just seen the story of Barbara and Sofat. And you can see from that story just what a difference it makes for people to be able to be in housing. I know that you're probably sitting uh, at home in a place where you're safe. Maybe you've got a couch where you can collapse after a hard day of work. We think at Compass that everyone deserves to have this opportunity. So together with, uh, with Lutheran Community Services Northwest, we want to expand our ability to provide uh, these services, these vital services, not just in Seattle, but in other communities across uh, the state and the region. We've survived 100 years because we're creative, we're efficient, and a little bit scrappy. And we need your partnership so that we can help make sure that everyone has a place to call home. Thank you, Mary. I am so excited to be in partnership with Compass Housing Alliance. When I joined Lutheran Community Services Northwest six years ago, I went around to our offices in Idaho, Washington, and Oregon, and I would ask all the staff, what do your clients need? And the number one response time and time again was housing. So we made it the long-term strategic objective that we would add housing to the services we provide which include refugee and immigration services, uh, behavioral health, uh, we do senior services, also early childhood development. And all of these things that we provide are real needs of your clients as well, uh, Mary at Compass. And so 
by putting us together, marrying your services of affordable housing, emergency services, and all the things that we provide, the community impact that we can have together in the next hundred years uh, is beyond exciting. And I can't wait to see what we can do together. So Compass has always been willing to move forward uh, with taking risk and uh, looking at how we can serve the greatest amount of people. And somebody who knows that more than anyone is uh, our former executive director, Rick Friedhoff. Thank you, Mary and David. We are grateful for your leadership and excited to support your vision for Compass. My name is Rick Friedhoff and I was the executive director of Compass for 15 years. I was privileged to work with a talented group of people who helped me understand the devastating impact that experiencing homelessness has on vulnerable people. Daily, I witnessed the disparity in health and opportunity between people who lived in safe, comfortable houses and those who had to call the streets their home. Living on the streets causes daily harm to vulnerable people, and our recognition of that and the underlying inequity which causes it is a powerful call to action that we should heed. The inspiration to serve others that inspired Otto Karlstrom to start this organization lives on today. Though Compass has changed during the last hundred years, it's always been a safe and comfortable environment in which people could gather their strength and heal. Each individual is treated with compassion and respect and accountability, and each is helped to pursue their own individual goals. The Compass Way celebrates the uniqueness and dignity of each person who is entitled to both respect and support. Tonight, there will be over 5,000 people who sleep outside in our community. We can do better. We are a people called to do better. Building and operating supportive housing is the answer to homelessness. And we need to provide and maintain shelter systems while we build the affordable housing we need. Compass provides both. As you saw in SOFAT's moving story, there is not one aspect of life that is not made exponentially better by moving from the streets to a welcoming, safe, safe environment. Compass is proof that housing changes everything. To build and to operate the affordable housing we need will require a series of partnerships across sector lines, government, corporations, individuals, and churches. It's a big challenge and it won't be easy, but it can be done and it must be done. With your continued support, Compass will rise to this challenge. It is an organization which has worked its way through depressions, wars, recessions, earthquakes, the viaduct coming down, and now the pandemic. It has been steadfast in its commitment to serve and to do its part. Today, we are called to do our part. And there is a liberation in recognizing that though we can't do everything, this enables us to do something and to do it very well. It is our opportunity to recognize the good work of the past and to pave the way for the work that needs to be done tonight and tomorrow. I ask you to invest in the Compass community, to share a portion of the burden, to build the necessary housing and to provide the essential services. Our matching fund for this event will help your dollars go even further. Mary and David lead a good team and we can be part of their good work. Together, we will make a real difference in the lives of our neighbors. Thank you. Today's event wouldn't have been possible without our fantastic sponsors. Special recognition goes to our champion level sponsors, Briscoe Myers Squibb. Walsh Construction, Jim Dale USA, and Home Street Bank. We also want to thank our dear friend Rick Steves and the Red Element Productions team. Most importantly, thank you for your generous support. A birthday bash isn't any fun without people to celebrate with, and Compass would not have had the impact it has had without people just like you. And finally, 
a brief word of gratitude direct to you from the Compass family. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for supporting Compass. We really couldn't do all of the things we do without our supporters. Thank you from everyone here at Day Services for all that you do and all that you continue to do uh, to support this mission. Thank you so much for supporting Cascade Women's Program. This program wouldn't exist without your amazing support. Thank you for the gift that you are and the gifts that you share. Your support and generosity bring life, light, and hope. You mean so much to everyone and the successes are just amazing. We couldn't do it without your support. Thank you. I want to say thank you. And this is a personal thank you because I've seen the benefits of this program. I've seen many people being helped and able either to move on or find a permanent housing or a place that they can go and live for the rest of their lives. And we couldn't do it without you. No matter what you do, whether it is giving money, if you are able to give money, if it's offering services, if it is just coming and doing something in order to help and support people, it's appreciated. And we really couldn't do it without you. Thank you. Thank you for supporting Compass Housing Alliance. We appreciate all the love and the support. Thank you. Thank you so much for supporting Compass.